Okay, I am officially moved out of the storage unit. That feels so good. Uh, there's a huge weight lifted. So yeah, I got to the point where I just realized I needed to get it done and just push through the stopping and narrating everything was really making it take longer. And it's fun, but I can do that now that the stuff's in here. So I just needed to get that done. Now, the data generals are not in here yet, and I know I'm going to get questions about that. They are still in that storage unit, but I'm just uh, transferring that storage unit to a family member, and they're just going to stay in there until I can get them to help me move them into the office. So they're coming here. Don't worry about that. Um, I tried to move them in by myself, and this is another reason why. I just can't work on them as quickly as everyone wants me to. So in this shot here, I attempted to remove one of the removable platter drives and it weighs too much for me to lift and it fell to the ground. And I probably got as close to breaking a finger as I could without actually doing it. So I consider myself pretty lucky on that one. But these things weigh so much more than you would think. Um, you might see something that's made nowadays and the metal's really cheap and it's kind of flimsy and you think, oh, why don't they just make it out of slightly thicker metal so it's stronger and it'll last longer? That's how these drives are made. And that's how the server chassis are made. These things are so insanely heavy that I really cannot move them by myself. So when I look at something like the data generals and I see that that drive has to come out and get put onto a workbench so I can disassemble it, take a look at what's in there, what may need to be reserviced before I even try and turn it on. Um, that means that it's going to be a commitment where it gets taken out with help, put somewhere, and then I cannot move it until I'm done with it. So it is a commitment to begin working on one of those things. So that's why this office is going to be fantastic because I'm going to have enough workspace here that I can set up a dedicated spot for working on the data general stuff. And that will eventually happen, just not right now. There are a lot of things that I need to get working on. So let's start talking about those and taking a look at what my next steps are. Okay, now first things first, this workspace area is now full of stuff, but this whole row of things are going to go onto the workbench, at least for now. Um, so one of the things I'm going to need to get done immediately is get the workbench set up so the things can go onto it. Now, something else related to that is this board right here, and this is, again, for the data generals. Now, the electronics bench is so heavy because of the server cabinet and everything mounting together with bolts that once it's assembled, it can't be moved. And the data generals are basically like that as well. So this board is the floorboard that I will be putting the data generals onto. So wherever this board ends up, basically it's never going to be moved again. So one of the things I need to do here, maybe today, maybe not, is uh, put this together where I think it's gonna go and then put that board where it should go and then start looking at how the space is going to be laid out. Um, on the topic of things I don't know where to go, that television, all right, um, that'll go on that stand, I'm thinking about putting it right here because um, I'm thinking it could be useful um, for other things. Uh, so I'm, I'm really toying with that idea. And then the idea that I had for the uh, temporary storage where I can just walk off to the side to grab things for the streaming setup. Maybe the shelf could go there, or maybe I would just use that. I don't know. I'm not against the idea of it being back there, but I got to play around with the layout still, but I do have to get stuff actually put places. Um, one thing I did learn is, uh, <clears throat> I think this is basically exactly wide enough to put them because I had <laughs> in the room they were in previously, all right, this is six feet long. Um, the two data generals are exactly uh, two feet wide each, so it's four feet long. The room they were in was 10 feet long, all right? So when I had this up against them, um, it was literally pushing into both walls. <laughs> um, 
So it wasn't possible to like wheel one of the data generals out to work on them. <laughs> that was another thing that was preventing me from doing that. Um, so uh, what I need to do is I need to figure out, do I need a little more space around this um, before I put them on it? And you know, I think, I think here's what I need to do. I need to move out, clear out that corner. That stuff can just go anywhere. Put that board down and then set the cabinet for the electronics bench next to it. And then see how much space it's going to encroach into here. So I can figure out where the streaming table is gonna go. All right, I've been talking too long in this shot. I need to actually get some work done. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start clearing this out uh, so I can set up stuff, figure out the spacing, and then we're gonna start making some decisions from there. Okay, so here's what the space would look like, I'm thinking. Uh, so this is the carpet for the data generals, well, carpet and board. Uh, you can see the board here. I got this carpet at a uh, Habitat for Humanity restore. Um, they're slightly damaged. They got cut on the production line by accident. Um, so they're not normal, but you know, it's perfect for this. I don't care. Um, so it goes over and it just covers the wood so you can't see it. Um, so that works out really well. Um, the bench here, actually, so you can see these are the bolt mount locations. Uh, they are slightly inset on this thing. So uh, this should hang over a little bit and then I just want more room. Um, I actually left a little bit of space here and I'm hoping extra there. Um, this piece here actually goes on to the back of the uh, electronics bench, but I removed it as soon as I bought it because I needed to feed the cables through, so I didn't want that. Um, but that gives us an approximate idea of the length. So when you walked in here, the first thing you would see is the electronics bench, that that I'm not super thrilled about, um, but because <laughs> that's not really the whole point, but it would be fine. Um, so thinking that's probably the place to put that. Uh, there is not as much room between here and there as I was hoping, but uh, that's fine. I pulled the board away from the wall a little bit compared to last time. Uh, cause the data generals, I don't have enough of it here. I do have some panels and the floppy drive from the Micronova. So that's how deep the data generals are. I guess I can just grab one of those. Okay, so if I put this here, you can see I wanted some space behind for cables, um, but that gives me about enough space to, okay, so here's a problem. <laughs> this will never move. And it's up to about here once the thing is in. There's no way to get behind these. <sighs> that was part of my problem before. <laughs> and I have to be able to get behind them. I don't have a good solution for that. Uh, I put them here. <sighs> if I moved, like, oh my gosh, that's super easy. I'll move the electronics bench down all the way to here, okay? So let's say I do, uh, let me do this. Grab this panel, uh, give myself say 30 inches for the streaming table depth. Actually, let's just use this piece right here. So about that. Okay, so Electronic bench all the way back here into the corner. Um, that would mean I can't film from the right because there's a wall, but I could never film from the right on that because there was always a wall. Um, couldn't film from the left either because there'll be the workbench. Um, actually, my plan is kind of here to have this camera on a monitor mounting arm um, and have it attached to the front of the workbench and then be able to move it. So that probably wouldn't be a problem. Um, because getting my whole black magic everything into there is really a pain. <laughs> um, I'm trying to come up with things that make this easier. It's part of why I bought this camera because it's small, does HDMI out, uh, so I could stream with it, um, which is part of how I'm going to stream. Black magic will be pointed here at the uh, streaming or at the work electronics area. 
then this camera will be um, in the middle, like on this corner here, between the electronics bench and the open top bench. And then I can position it here, or rotate it around, position it over here. That's what I'm thinking. So anyway, so data generals be here in the middle, which less thrilled about, but they would be then the first thing you saw when they came in. Oh, okay, hold on here. This is having some benefits. I could put a desk there and put the dasher on it. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is not what I was planning. Okay, then the desk is going to be light compared to the electronics bench, which is essentially immovable. Oh, all right. That makes the most sense. Data generals in the middle. Electronics bench in the corner. So that gives me just six feet behind me for the stream area depth. I was kind of hoping to have it be like a little farther away so it looked better, but it really doesn't matter. Just the depth of that is totally fine. This makes the most sense. This is what I should do. Yeah, all right. I really didn't want to put the data generals in the middle, but that solves more problems than it creates. Um, well, it solves the problem being able to get behind them. Yeah, I guess just get started. Setting up this electronics match is really terrible. Um, so I'm going to put the camera on here as a time lapse. Well, I do that because that's what's next. Getting this on there and then that on the other end. I don't think it's possible to swap which end the cabinet is on because I wouldn't mind doing that now. I would have to drill all new holes for it. I'm not doing that. It could use it though. They're, they're pretty bad, <laughs> but I'm not doing that. All right. This is pretty cool here, and uh, I'm excited about this. First off though, I'm going to hold this up so I can do a color correction because I'm going to look different as I step into this area and am lit by the LED panels, and I will now correct it. Um, but, uh, and hopefully I can just swap back and forth between those now. So <laughs> the electronics bench here is now kind of set up, and I went ahead and just to try this out, and I put some of the uh, T-bar mounts that I was given up there, and that works really, really well. Now, I think what I need to do is get a couple of these. So this is a magic arm. What this does is you undo this, and then the whole thing is floppy, and then you tighten it here, and then, uh, then it becomes rigid and uh, I need that as an extension for these mostly. These when I'm tightening them they hit the ceiling so yeah it just needs to be farther down but then being slightly farther down should get me more light into this area so that'll work out well. Now this is definitely not a final configuration. I'm playing around with some different things. I've never taken the rubber bumpers off of my 34401A because I think it looks hideous without it but I gotta admit <laughs> having that Lined up like that looks pretty darn good. So I don't know, I'm tempted to leave it that way. Uh, there's no power run up here yet. Um, still need to do that. That'll be a later objective right now. I'm just trying to get things laid out, see how they'll look. I'm not sure about putting this up there. I may move that down to there um, because the probes are on the front. I don't need to be draping them over everything. But then again, these, well, yeah, these won't really have uh, probes on the front. So these, maybe you'll be able to see this here. These have terminals on the back and those are what you're supposed to connect to. So what I will really need to do is put like a terminal block down here or something, uh, maybe along here, maybe up front. 
I don't know, that has the power connections to these and this that is like that as well. Um, so I need to figure out how I want to set those up. This one is the weird one that has the outputs on the front. I'm not sure why, <laughs> um, but it does. And then this one doesn't, so I don't know. This I'm actually gonna get some use out of because I picked up a Sony KV2145R that has a bad red gamma or gain setting and that needs to be calibrated. So this thing plus that thing will let me calibrate that actually. So that's really cool. I'm going to use that as it was intended. So, and that's again, that's why I picked it up because who knows what all cool stuff. I mean, I've wanted it mostly because it's awesome and I just, you know, didn't have one, but you know, <laughs> it's nice to have it be validated as well. So there's the electronics bench. Now this side is uh, emptying out a little bit. This really isn't as bad as it looks here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do things like move this back into there um, and then figure some more stuff out, move some stuff around. This whole thing, I mean, it's kind of, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> now that I see it like this, I think I got this after the data general. So, you know, I don't think I ever used it when it wasn't pinned up against the wall and the data generals may have been providing more structural support for it than I realized. So I don't know, we'll see how this goes. So, okay, um, what are my next objectives? I could hang that um, over this area, but there's, there's really no need to. Oh, that, that light is in the perfect spot. Oh, well, if I replace that with an LED panel and I just make sure I get really nice lights for that, I don't even have to hang those there because that's, that's absolutely perfect. I guess that's the other thing is that if I do actually have an electrician come out here, I can have them reposition the lights wherever I want. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't know, still figuring stuff out. Drop ceiling, new to me, still learning about it. This blows my mind. That sounds, this just seems so handy. I mean, the stands for these, all right. So here's one thing I really like about this, especially with me standing. So obviously these, cables here would be pinned along the ceiling or something. Um, but the stands, so whoops, let's say we have two of these lights here, that stand takes up all that floor space. And then I can't walk in front of this and I can't block the light. This shines over me onto the work surface and it works out really well. Now I kind of have issues. I don't think the GoPro is going to pick this up, but these lights that are not well diffused. I even have the diffusion panels in them that they come with. They, they don't look great. They cast a little weird shadows. So I don't know that those will be the ones that end up there. It could be the giant soft boxes if I disassemble them into individual units again. Um, but I don't know. I wanted to toy with this for that area specifically because I want to do a streaming setup like that and that works so well. So I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm tempted. Honestly though, is you know, I think it was like $150 to get these as a set with the stands. I wonder how much those are just individually, because I think that these are fine for filming. Um, so <laughs> I'm, 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 I've also been thinking about this idea, just ignoring all the lights in the ceiling, just pretend they don't exist, shut them off, never turn them on again here, and then just set up filming lights everywhere. <laughs> and then when I want them, just turn them on for the different areas because it's actually a better idea to have it be dark and not have extra lights on in places that you don't need. Because like, again, here, the color temperature on these is very different than the color temperatures on these. So if I just switch to all filming lights that are all 5600K, you know, <laughs> it could work. And uh, it might actually be cheaper to just get a bunch of these and then wire them, hang them up everywhere that I want rather than uh, try and hire an electrician to replace all those and then get new LED fixtures and all that stuff. Cause I can do that on the bottom side for a lot less. I don't know, ideas. Um, let me get started on cleaning up some of this though. And uh, then I can start seeing what I wanna do next. Color. 
I'm shooting the GoPro in flat because I want to try and get the best dynamic range. But okay, there we go. Um, this is nice to have this space clear again. Um, you guys haven't really seen this chair. It's pretty sweet. Uh, it's that Highland Oak style wood with these felt style covered pads, a swivel back that actually has a little bit of give here. It's a really nice vintage chair that goes phenomenally with that uh, PC cart. So I'm just gonna leave this over here. I don't know where the PC cart's going. I don't think they're. <laughs> Maybe they're in front. I don't know yet, but this is actually, a, that's a lot of space. I'm pretty happy with that now. Um, I'm almost inclined to say that the, uh, the uh, temporary project storage is gonna go on bookshelves in front of the window here. <laughs> I, I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, Cause this is a good amount of space. I really like the direction this is going. I think that's gonna work well. The TV is way too heavy. Um, I also need to measure the uh, insides of the support braces. So here's the thing, this TV should, oh man, have a stand that slots into those metal holes. Um, I don't have that, I didn't come with it. I do have the model number for the stand. I also have the model number for a full TV stand. Um, and then I have a model number for a wall mount. And that wall mount is terrifying because <laughs> the wall mount uh, would have to hold up that thing, which is 130 pounds. And then the manual for that also recommends that you have it four inches away from the wall so that it can vent because it has fans on it. It's look, I really want to do a video on it. I <laughs> it's sweet. Um, I will get to it as soon as I can, but you can see the challenges I got here. Um, so it's uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, I put the typewriters there for now though, because they look really good on there and I like them, but they'll have to go somewhere once I have actual more storage. Um, but I'm not getting to this whole thing for a while. So, okay, we have the workbench done. We have this corner fixed. Um, that stuff did just kind of disappear into the other two storage-ish rooms, but that's fine. That's what they're there for. Um, and as I get this uh, fleshed out with more furniture, then the things can go to where they'll actually belong. So for now, that's fine. Um, I'm trying to think about what is next. I guess I can do the desk next. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it all in one video here, um, but honestly, it's slightly earlier than I thought I would be at this point, and I'm feeling good, so I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I left enough room for the tabletop to fit without having to move the existing table farther over, which will also include moving the uh, filing cabinet. I want to know. I'm going to pull that folding table out. I also want the folding table because I have like a little bit of mail here that I need to open and I know what that is. It's the other rack, <laughs> the other uh, networking rack and I kind of want to get to that. And that folding table would be great since I put a bunch of junk over there right now. Um, there's, a, there's a really awesome calculator over there I'm dying to tell you about, but I think I'm going to make a video sooner than later, so I shouldn't. Um, but yeah, let me... Let me pull that thing out so that I can open the mail on it over here in this fancy lit area. Oh man, it's gonna be exciting. Um, okay, let me do that right now. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be cool. I just got this thing, that's part of why I'm playing around with it so much. But okay, there we go. That's kind of what I was thinking, but uh, well, this, yeah, that lips, that's a lot more than I thought. Um, those legs are technically height adjustable. I mean, kind of like this, you can see there's a little bit of thread there, but then not on that one, um, but not enough. <laughs> so if I want this to be as tall as that, I will have to put something underneath of that. But you can see here how I want the shelf, and then these would actually be the legs that I would put like under this. So that's how much it could be raised off of the table. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, this didn't go quite how I was expecting here. So I'm still thinking that through. Um, did get uh, that moved out so I can open the box 
in a moment here. Um, but yeah, I need to think about this a little more. There's, I don't know, looking at my options here. So there's that. Uh, but you know what? Let's go ahead and open the mail package here. This is kind of interesting. Um, you're going to see me set this set up in real time here. I'm going to adjust these lights um, to point down ish. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my color thing so I could start the shot with color. I'm gonna cut it out from now here though. <laughs> I think you got the idea. Uh, and then I could just set the tripod down right there. So yeah, seeing as I am shooting with a GoPro for this, that's gonna be super wide. So I'm gonna have to zoom this in in the edit here. Um, but this will work. I don't know if this will be a recurring thing to shoot here. Um, I have a gift note. Thank you, Franjo, uh, again, for sending this this time. Um, if you commented on the last video where I pronounced your name with a correct pronunciation, I'm actually rendering that video right now as I'm recording this, so I won't have known that at the time that I'm recording this. So I'm hoping that I'm getting that right, but if not, my apologies. Um, but this is... Wow! the other StarTech rack that will have either the networking stuff or the VGA uh, equipment. I need to bring my VGA capture system here. It's, uh, it's at home. It can come here now. Although I don't, ha I don't, ha I don't know where I'm going to set it up yet. I haven't really figured that out. <laughs> Because it's like a whole other modern computer, but it's dedicated to exclusively that. Um, because it needs a particular version of the, I'm going to try and pronounce this correctly, Ubuntu kernel. And uh, I can't let it update or anything like that. So, yeah, it's kind of locked in time. But there we go. the second rack that will be super handy. I'm going to leave these attached to this this time so I don't have to keep track of them. But yes, thank you. Uh, this is going to be extremely handy. I am so looking forward to doing all of that. Um, I haven't started the network rewiring, obviously, and I did just block one of the patch panels going to the network area or the, uh, the electronics bench area. Now, I think I left it out far enough that I can still get to that. Um, but I've I think I need to do the network rewiring soon. So I have the cable, I have the keystones, I have the uh, tools, I have the connectors, I have the racks, I already own a switch. I guess I have everything I need to do that then. Huh, well, I, that snuck up on me. I didn't realize I was almost, well, I, that I am ready. Okay then, so. Maybe that'll be the next video. I don't know. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> I say holding the knife. Um, <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that would make sense. I should do it before I really start locking in furniture, especially with that loose now, actually, because I need to do... Oh, that's right. I wanted to get the internet installed first. Ah, yeah, because I wanted to see what they said during that process. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's holding me up. <laughs> All right. That's not like a good thing, but yeah. But the uh, storage unit is ending now. I don't have to worry about that bill. Uh, I paid into that what I'm going to pay completely now. So I'm good there. And since that is $200 a month gone now, uh, I can get the internet. So sweet. But that is enough for today. It's uh, been... A lot of work to get to the point now where I'm starting to set up set spaces like this. And I'm so excited to be here now. It is a real relief. I mean, just looking around. Wow, this is such a change for me. I'm I'm blown away. Um, thank you all again. I've said this so many times, but thank you to everyone who has supported. Um, I guess if you want to support as well, uh, you can buy stickers, so that's one way. Um, and then there's links in the description with more ways now. And I guess I can start wearing my own shirts. I haven't been wearing 
uh, my merch shirts in the office vlogs because I've been ruining all of my shirts here as I've been moving stuff and I've been intentionally wearing dark shirts so you can't see me sweat. So yeah, um, but now that I'm getting into some lighter load stuff here, I can actually start wearing those again sometimes. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but that is it for the moment and I will see you next time.